everyone welcome back to my channel today we'll be painting a flower i chose a, a magenta flower and i'll be linking in the description box below the link to the reference image that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial actually i forgot if it's from pixabay or from pexels but i'm pretty sure that it is a copyright free image so i forgot to source uh to remember where i where i downloaded the image but i'll be able to figure that out later so for now let's just um sketch first the subject oh and let me tell you the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial we will be using less black or if none uh if none uh today so let's tell i mean let me tell you the colors that i'll be using for today's tutorial we have here violet permanent magenta medium magenta or it's like pinkish color and then orange we have titanium white and cadmium yellow let's begin now i'll be using my pencil to sketch first the pink flower actually i've taped my canvas paper um but i don't want to tape it uh, along the sides i tape it at the back so that it sticks to the surface um I was having a hard time uh, taping it because it's quite stiff so let's begin sketching now you know when I sketch I sketch freely I don't really need any measurement if you are an OC type of person you can make some measurements besides I'll be linking down the image or the reference image for this one I'm, I'm just not a fan of uh, measuring things when I'm painting So besides, we're just sketching, so everything can change, you know, as we go on. Again, if you want to trace this one, you can pause the video once the sketch is done, and then you can trace it. If you want to trace, guys. I'm not telling you to trace, because I actually don't encourage my viewers to trace. Um... I just don't like tracing it just removes the sense of accomplishment that I get after finishing a painting I feel like uh, I feel like I just trace it and then colored it so we might as well get a coloring book right I don't know we may share different opinions about the, about it but for me um, that's how I view things all right so this will be the center of the flower like that so it's it's a beautiful pink flower i can't wait to finish this already all right that's very good okay okay let's begin now i'll be using for the underpainting my permanent magenta and a combination of medium magenta Alright, maybe I'll add a tiny bit of violet just to make the door the color <laughs> the color quite dark. So for the underpainting, let's just go like this. I'll be making the inner portion or inner part of the flower quite reddish or quite like deep in color okay same color right here 
remember guys we're just underpainting so nothing to worry here we're just trying to identify where the dark colors are gonna go and I'm not really using too much water for this part Now I'm going to go and mix my color with my medium magenta. Maybe I'm going to wet my brush a little bit so that, you know, I get to spread the paint quite smoothly. All right, like this. here down here later we're going to separate the petals for now let's just do some underpainting trying to get the general colors and shapes of the subject of the petals And I'm gonna darken that one, make some more deep magenta here. Like so. Okay. Here, going to do the same thing. I don't know why I'm quite excited about this one. Okay, same colors right here, just to complete, complete it. Like that. Okay, and then let's move here. This is a fun, fun subject. Same. We're going to lighten this. I'm, I'm just actually alternating the colors. I mean, um, between um, magenta and permanent magenta. If you see light colors, then that's just magenta. And then if you see um, darker or deeper colors, it's just um, permanent magenta. I'm not really using different colors here i'm just using two colors as you can see um, permanent magenta in medium magenta i'm just mixing them if i want to go a little like um, in between the colors but i'm just using two colors you can actually tell 
All right, so here we go. It's going to go for magenta here. And as we go down the petal right here, I'll be using more permanent or deeper magenta. As I told you guys, this is the underpainting. So we will go over it later. This is not the final look of it anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna go darker right here. But I'm also trying to kind of blend the colors. And later you will see the separation of petals because we will be highlighting it. All right, okay, same color right here. Mm, same color right here. Now, I really want you guys to not stress so much about painting. You know, people and some artists or some painters just stress so much about the details, about, and they haven't even started a painting and they start to get nervous about it already. Me, I'm just, just going with the flow and just try to enjoy it, be excited about it, that's why. So I'm going to darken those in-between spaces, between the petals, I mean, especially near the inner or the middle portion. I'm going to darken the permanent magenta even more by adding some violet color. And let's go inside, let's go underpaint the inside. We really don't have to do uh, to underpaint the middle part. But I feel like I should. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll be linking down the reference image and you can decide for yourself whether or not you will underpaint the middle part, but I feel like I should. For teaching purposes, I'll be showing you what I do. I'm not actually telling you to copy me absolutely. You can do whatever you want, but of course I wanna share my way of uh, doing things. All right, so I just underpainted the middle part, but it will be all yellow later. It's just me, guys. All right, and I'll be using some magenta and some violet. Down here. Like so. I'm going quite vertical or diagonal. I don't do ver um, horizontal because I kind of want some patterns already to show when I do the petals so I just follow the natural flow of petals like so we basically underpainted it now and now let's move on to the detailing so for the detailing I'll be using some white of course and some magenta the light one the pink one and it's kind of dry brushing but it's not really but just make sure that your paintbrush is not too wet when you do this so i'm just going to create some patterns for the highlights As you can see, it's quite dry. I don't know if you can hear my brush um, touching the canvas. Canvas paper, I'm using canvas paper, but you can hear it. Some people don't like the way I scrub using my brush because they feel like I'm destroying my, um, my paintbrush, but I really don't mind uh, doing that to my brush because that's what they are here for me 
they are meant to help me achieve some image that I want to create. Now I'm going to get my violet. Alright, and I don't mind the mixing of white and purple. It's alright. And then I'm going to make some purplish hints here. And here as well. So that's the underpainting second layer. I'm gonna wash my brush out. You can see it's coming, like it's coming to life already. All right, now I'm gonna go and do the middle part. For the middle part, I'm just gonna use my orange and then cadmium yellow. Maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of magenta to make it quite muted. All right, and dark and deeper. So I'm going to use this one to create some, I don't know if, what do you call this one? Pollens. So I'm just going to make some random short markings like so. This is the, this is just to underpaint those, um, what do you call them? Pollens. Are those pollens or the middle portion of the flower? All right, like so. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and get my cadmium yellow plus white. Make some light yellow color. And we're going to do the same thing, only that we'll be scattering, we'll be randomly doing that so those orangey colors will provide some shadows and depth and volume to our flower. Now I'm adding some more white, highlighting some areas. Now I'm just using cadmium yellow. You know, my neighbor's child is quite 
noisy. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it from the background. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out. This is the center part. So we're going to highlight it even more. But for now, let's just go and continue doing some underpaintings. I'm gonna get my light uh, magenta. I'm gonna add white, maybe add a tiny bit of violet. And I'm gonna color that right in the middle but I'll be spreading it like this. So, okay, wash your brush out again. Okay, let's remove this. All right, I'm gonna darken or deepen this color, this area. I'm gonna get my permanent magenta plus the violet. I think I need to darken it. For some reason, I feel like this needs some deeper color in here as well Making some detailing. Wash your brush out again. Okay, I'm gonna get my light magenta. Okay, this time we're going to do some highlighting by going around the petals. Like so. So you can see, I'm just going around the petal like that and same here all right like that and the same here up here let's go around Okay, and we're going to do the same thing right here. here as well okay 
wash the brush out, and I'm gonna get some permanent magenta. I'm gonna make it quite dark. Right Just adding more permanent magenta in some areas. Permanent magenta is quite deeper than the usual magenta that you have or um, the pink color. And then some uh, violetty colors. Violetty. I just call it violetty. Gosh. All right. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. This looks nice already. Um, actually, guys, you may decide if you want to have a different background. I kind of like the white background, but I'm not really that sure. If I kind of want it this way, I may change it to, I think I like the white, right? I think it's cleaner, it's more neat. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for white. So let me get some more permanent magenta and let's darken some more areas. So as you can see, we're now separating the petals from each other. Earlier, it was just a huge circle, right? Before we did the underpainting, but, or before we did the detailing, but now it's making sense. And then I'm going to add some more mag permanent magenta right in the middle, somewhere here. Okay. I'm not sure if I really want the white background. <laughs> I'm still thinking. All right, so I'm gonna make some more detailing up here. Like so. Actually nice. Okay, wash your brush out. 
And I think I have to clean some areas that um, need some cleaning. I think I'm gonna go for some background. I don't know why, but I don't know. We're not yet done, so I'm gonna think about it while I'm painting. <laughs> I'm just cleaning some areas, but I think this is good. Right. Let's go back to the middle portion. For the middle portion, I'm just going to go for some magenta, okay, and some cadmium yellow, but I'm not mixing them, mixing them really, I'm just going to go and create some tiny detailing in the middle, like so. apply some of that color randomly like that Wash it out. Let's go back to our yellow color. Hey, what's your brush out? Mm, this is nice. Gosh. This is so nice. Right, guys? We're just, what, 33, 34 minutes in. And... Yeah, I'm still deciding whether or not I should do some background. Okay, but I think I have to like, right, so get your, um, get your yellow, okay, and then tiny bit of violet, right, like so. Let's just create like a tiny petal or leaf, leaf, I mean, lift, <laughs> I mean leaf, <laughs> all right, like so, and then, okay. I'm gonna get my permanent magenta plus violet, let's just separate it. make some detailing this is just you know I really like to add some touch of natural 
um, natural effects. You know when you pick up a flower, when you, um, or when you see a flower, there's some part of it that suggests some natural um, part of it, like uh, a hole in the flower or maybe a bug, like some sort of imperfection. Okay, I'm really thinking if I will do some black background. Help me guys, I'm still. But I kinda like it, I kinda like this already. All right. Okay, I think I have to color the background, guys. Uh, I think I have to color the background, like maybe black. All right, so I'm just gonna get my black. I thought I won't be using my black today, but I kind of feel that this needs some sort of more light effects so I'm gonna get my black and just color the background black yeah I think this is much better because with the black um, background then I'll be able to highlight even more the flower you'll see later what I mean
So I'm just finishing the background now. Right. I kind of like the black background. I think I made a good decision. Well, it's really up to you guys if you want the white background. Me, I kind of like the black background. My, my usual background color for my floral paintings is black. So if you're not a fan of black background, it's up to you. But for me, I kind of like the black, black background. Because I'll be able to highlight the flower even more because of the contrast, you know. So anyway, I'm just going to wash my brush out. And I'm going to highlight even more the flower. Make sure to wash your brush completely because we don't want the black paint to kind of mix. So I'm going to use my light magenta. And again, let's go back to the flower and then... With the black background, I'll be able to highlight the petals. Like so. So I'm just going around. Mmm, look at that. Key, okay, wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna mix some black and my cadmium yellow to create some greeny color. Now I don't know if you know that uh, that technique, but I'm gonna make some muted green or green oxide by mixing black and yellow plus white. And I just want to create some sort of um what do you call abstractish suggestions right here suggestions of leaves suggestions of plants it could be anything so the background is not just plain black but there is also some sort of suggestion of what surrounds the flower it may not be visible right now but when it get when it dries it will be visible okay now I'm gonna get my white plus yellow white plus yellow and let's create some more highlights like so All right, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna get my medium, uh, medium magenta, and I'm gonna water it down and kind of spread it across the petals, quite randomish. And 
and then permanent magenta again quite randomish to um, to make some markings on the flower that are more natural looking I forgot to highlight this petal. Okay, it's nice. I'm going to darken this area. I think this was just one of the most fun flower painting that flower paintings that I've done. Just darkening even more. And I'm gonna darken this. You know, the more near you are to the center, the more dark the colors will be. All right. Oh, this looks lovely. Gosh, this is just so lovely. Yay. So I think. We can do, or you can do more layering of the background, but for me, I think this is good. Let me check. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> okay, so now I think I can use my black just to um, make some more layering since we have more time. And I forgot to highlight that little, uh, little leaf right here. Just gonna use some light green. Okay, like so. All right. And you can use some magenta Plus violet, just a tiny bit to suggest some the um, the stalk. Is that the stalk or the handle of the flower? It's not very visible, but of course, it's better to place it there than none than not at all. Okay, hey, wash up a shout again. More and more layering.
let's start in this area because it's near the center so I'm just gonna go up like that Okay. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to sign this now. I think I'll sign it here because I'm done. I'm going to get this my magenta because I hardly touch my orange, but well, yeah, sometimes it happens. Sometimes we think we need the color too much and then we get a lot of paint, but then we really don't need that much. <laughs> all right so i think this is done and i'm just so happy about this one because yeah this is very good yay oh my gosh so we're done guys we're done guys i hope you enjoyed this very simple painting tutorial and i also hope that you do this one and if you do please let me know tag me on your facebook post if you're posting your artworks online or just message me if you want or you can comment in the comment section of this video whether you've done a painting uh, tutorial of mine so see you in my next video guys and mm.